Hey, welcome to 5 Minutes of Retro, and this is my collection of the movie Poltergeist on various physical formats. I'll get into the details on each and every one of these in just a minute, but as you can see there are both uh, vintage formats here as well as highly new formats, so not all of these are what you'd consider retro, but um, hey, it's Poltergeist, and that's from 1982, and um, here's the laser discs I have of the movie. You know, to really understand my obsession with the movie Poltergeist, we have to go back to 1983, when I was 14 years old. As you know, the movie came out in 1982, but in Norway, where I lived, in my town, the movie was um, put up on the local cinema in 1983, and I was 14 years old, as I just told you. And in Norway, uh, the censorship was going very strong in the 80s, and uh, almost all horror movies had a um, admission age of 16 plus. Jaws was 18 years of age to to watch, and Poltergeist was uh, uh, set up with a age restriction of 16 years. And I really wanted to see the movie. I had read some uh, reviews of it in various magazines. I had watched the poster in the in the display cabinet of a liquor store in town and I really wanted to see this movie because I was really into or I wanted to see horror movies at that time. So I uh, brought my father and we went to the movies that night and we tried to get in to watch Poltergeist and I was rejected at the counter there and I was devastated, I really wanted to see it, and I couldn't, they wouldn't let me in. We waited a little bit in the lobby, but to no good, we had to get a refund of the tickets, and uh, yeah, I had to go home without ever being able to see it at that time. Ever since that day, I was obsessed with the movie, and when I was old enough to, to watch it, I did it, and I loved it. And when home video really took off, I uh, started buying it and, uh, well, let's check out my uh, collection of Poltergeist movies on various physical formats. And here's the first one. This is uh, the CED, Capacitance Electronic Disc. This is uh, basically a vinyl record inside here, which is read by a stylus and this converts it into a video signal. This was prior to Laserdiscs and uh, quite popular in the late 70s and early 80s. And the quality is, uh, I'd say, a little bit below VHS. And here's the Japanese version of CED. This is VHD, Video High Density Disc, which is also read by a stylus, but this time it's a virtual stylus following a virtual electronic groove, so there's less wear and tear on the disc itself. But I really like the artwork on this um, VHD version from Japan. It was only released in Japan and it was actually quite popular in Japan. Uh, almost 10% of all home video owners had a VHD at the time. And VHD in Japan was released in 1983 and it kept on going for quite some time actually. You need a VHD player to play this and you uh, put this into the player, it pulls out the record inside and you play it one side, halfway through the movie you have to flip sides. And in that sense it works exactly as a CED player. Here is the VHS version of the movie, this is the PAL version, the one you could get in Norway at the time. And uh, what I like about these early releases on home video, regardless of format, is that they used very vivid colors uh, in, the, in the images, displaying some pics from the movie. And the same here, this is the Betamax, the beta uh, version, the US NTSC version of the movie, with a little flip over uh, front cover there. Here's the cassette itself. And uh, back in the day, we uh, had this format wars, as you know, between VHS and beta, which VHS won ultimately for the consumer market. Today I have both VHS and Betamax video players. Here's the 25th anniversary DVD release of Poltergeist. And as you can see now they started to add this blue filter on top of every picture taken from the movie to, uh, to put on the covers etc. Don't really like that but it is what it is. And uh, on DVD the movie was released in several different versions throughout a couple of decades. 
And here's the Blu-ray version. The presentation is pretty much the same as on the DVD in terms of uh, the blue color filter on the, on the packaging. But of course, I have uh, this one in the collection of the movie. And the latest format we have this movie in is on uh, 4K Blu-ray uh, UHD. And as with most 4K releases these days, it also comes with the, the Blu-ray presentation included in the package. Poltergeist is a movie that has uh, a lot of uh, flickering lights in sequences, which can cause epilepsy in people. And it comes with a warning for that actually included in this package. As a side note, I think they really messed up with this front uh, cover here. They should have used this original uh, pic from uh, all the other presentations as their front cover picture. And here's a little oddity. This is the movie presented on video CD. So you'd need a video CD player or a laser disc from the late 90s to play this. And this format is still very popular in Asia, actually. And the video quality is on par with the VHS, I'd say. Each CD holds about one hour of a program information. So if a movie is over one hour, you have to have multiple discs, CDs. Before we move on to the lazy disc releases, I thought I'd show you this. So this is a original Portlegeist uh, movie program. Uh, not uncommon at the time to have a stack of these put out in the lobby of the cinema uh, where the entrance, the, the ticket offices, etc. were, so that people could, uh, to, could grab one of these and read about the movie, watch some pics waiting in line to, to actually see the movie. And I collect these as well. I think it's highly enjoyable to browse through these today. Admittedly, I don't speak or read Japanese myself, except for a couple of words, etc. But I really like to browse through these uh, regardless to get a sense of uh, how the movie was presented in different countries, etc. I can remember these movie programs from Norway as well, uh, where occasionally they had a stack of these lying outside the, the entrance to the, to the movie theater. Very nice to collect these today and uh, always something interesting to find there. Here's one of the Japanese releases of Poltergeist uh, with the OB strip attached to the, to the cover. A, a looped piece of paper is called a OB strip in Japan. It could be around a book or a product or whatever. And now we're back in time again before the DVD era. And uh, as you can see, they had solid colors on the pictures at this time. I really like it. Here's one of the US releases of uh, Poltergeist in a deluxe letterbox edition. Uh, of course, all uh, releases are collectible, at least to me. But the letterbox editions of uh, movies on Laserdisc is really the ones to watch because you can see the whole picture and nothing cropped. Again, solid, bright, vivid colors uh, on the cover and at the back here. And since this is a later Laserdisc release, uh, this has a Dolby Digital AC3 soundtrack on it. It's very nice. And as I started, my obsession with Poltergeist got its nurturing from reading movie magazines like this film and review from 1982, which had a great article on Poltergeist inside. I can still remember the, the debate going on even back then uh, in early articles about was this really a Steven Spielberg directed movie or was it Toby Hooper? Steven Spielberg was always put up as the producer and Toby Hooper as the director. But this debate has been going on for years, even to this day. Who actually directed on set? Was it Spielberg or was it Hooper? I don't really care about that now. I just enjoy the movie. I like them both. Some of my movie magazines from back then has endured, but some I've had to rebuy. As you can see, the movie Poltergeist was released in the UK in the mid-September of 1982. There was another movie released in 1982 as well, which I will go into at another time. Another movie magazine, which uh, I read from cover to cover, is this issue of Fangoria, also from 1982. A magazine really set out to show the gory pictures from horror movies especially. And let me tell you, Fangoria was not easily obtainable in Norway at the time. You had to import it yourself or had to have someone send it to you from, from the US if you wanted to have it uh, delivered into your mailbox in Norway. Please let me know in the comment section if Fangoria was easy to, to obtain in your country at the time. I'd love to, to know that. 
In any case, it's so much fun browsing through these old movie magazines. And here's Blade Runner again. Well, this was my collection of the movie Poltergeist on physical formats. Thank you so much for watching 5 Minutes of Retro. I'm Espen Croft, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. This house is a